Hello, my awesome learning and technology friends. I'm glad you're here. Today we are going to take a look at some software that can take my phone and turn it into a webcam, can take a DLSR camera, turn it into a webcam, and can even take an existing webcam and make it a better webcam. It's called Camo2 and it's by Reincubate Software. You may have seen some of the other videos that I have here on the channel about Camo and how I really like it because I can use my phone as a document camera. I can use it to move it around wirelessly, see all sorts of things in an environment, point it at a whiteboard, all those sorts of things that I might want to do when I'm remote teaching, learning, or collaborating with others. You see, I have a problem with existing webcams that are built into devices. The biggest problem that I have is that the camera's built into the screen, which means that if I want to show a document, I have to like, you know, hold the screen down or I have to point uh, the, the document at the screen or, you know, wherever, if I want to go down to a lower angle on my screen, then the web camera's pointing up my nose and nobody needs to see that. So the built-in webcams and also the quality of the webcams usually not that good either. So there's a lot of challenges I have with the built-in webcam that really make it less functional than I would like it to be. Now I could go and buy an external webcam, but usually they have their own problems as well, usually around the software and the capabilities of the software. Well, Camo 2 provides a solution to all of those problems. What I can do is I can take a DLSR camera or my iPhone, and in my case an iPhone, you can use Android as well, and I can use that as the webcam. This is also handy, for example, if I have a Mac Mini that doesn't even have a built-in webcam. We're going to take a look at Camo 2 and some of the cool things it can do in just a moment. But first, let's ask ourselves, why do I even want a better webcam? Why do I need something that I can move around? Why do I need something that has DLSR quality or iPhone quality camera? Well, the reason is we're using webcams more and more. We use webcams in teaching and learning, and we really want something that doesn't just give us a static image. We want something we can move around. We want something that we can use as a document camera, that we can point to a whiteboard, that we can get better educational experiences out of. If we're collaborating with others remotely, we want a webcam that really makes us look more professional. Right now I'm using a DLSR, so you can get this nice view of my studio, you can see that there's some space around me. I can do the same thing using my iPhone in Camo by just attaching uh, Camo, my iPhone, touching my iPhone onto this monopod. So I actually have one right here. And then what I'll do is I'll just take, for example, a little jellyfish uh, phone holder, and I'll put links to all this stuff down below. This is just my setup. And then what I'll do, and you'll see this in a moment as well, is I'll use the, the Camo 2 software controlling the phone on this monopod that gives me a wide view of my environment. And then when I'm in a Teams meeting or a Zoom meeting, it's going to look really, really good. And I can also take a shorter version of the, the monopod here. This is just a shorter version of it. Again, I'll link below. And I can put a little ball head on here, a little jellyfish phone mount on there. And look what I've created. I've created a nice document camera. So now in my meetings, if I have a document that I want to put here, maybe I'll show you some cards here. I can actually put the document here and I can use my Camel 2 software to control how I present that. I'm going to demonstrate all of this right now. Okay, so I've got a little bit of an unusual setup just so I can show you things. I've got my DLSR filming the studio and I've got my monopod here with my iPhone acting as my webcam. We're going to take a look at the software here. Now, you'll notice also that I have a cable plugged in for power in my case. You can plug in a cable if you'd like, but it also works wirelessly. Let's take a look at the Camo software. The other thing that I want to mention is that I'm also using screen recording software. So there is a lot happening on my system right now. Normally, if I just have Camo connected to my computer, when I go out on a Zoom meeting or when I go out in a, in me, a Teams meeting, it's a really smooth experience. You might see just a little delay here because I've got a lot of layered software on here. So here we are in Camo. Camo has a lot of features that make it very, very useful as a webcam. First of all, I really like the fact that I've got some space around me. That makes it look a lot more professional. I got my little silver polar bear here and all sorts of things. If I go into the software, I can modify the camera settings. So you're going to see a lot of my studio that you don't normally see in this video. I can go ultra wide. 
So this is gonna give me a really big shot. So you can see I've got my podcasting area. I've got my green screen over here. This is a super wide shot. I don't know if I'd use that a lot, but it is available to me. Uh, this is better than having to swap out lenses on a camera. I can also go zoom in right in. Oh, scary. Look, here I am right in front of you. Now, you'll also notice down here that I'm zoomed in at 130. So I can actually let's go to 100%. So this is my... Um, this is my telephoto lens. You can even go and I can show you the back camera so I can switch out to the back camera on my phone and that's you can actually see my computer controlling my camera. Can, so there's a, there's a lot going on in the old studio today. Let's go back to my ultra to my regular wide angle lens. So we'll go wide. This has a nice frame to it, but it's not quite what I want. So what I can do is I can go down here to the zoom and I'll bring it up to, let's say, maybe 126%. Still not quite what I want, no problem. I can grab this little frame here and I can adjust the frame to get exactly the look that I might want if I was in a meeting and such. So I'm really getting, you know, a lot of control here without having to go and adjust things on the monopod. So I do like that quite a bit. Now, if you look here, I can also change how focusing works. Right now, it's auto-focusing. That usually works really well for me. You can also see that I've got a little bit of lag happening. That's not Camo. That's the screen recording software sitting on top of Camo. I can go in here and I can adjust the focus so you can see, make it blurry. But I'll go to auto-focus. There we are, we're auto-focused. Now, another thing that I can do here is I can change audio settings. So in my case, because I'm in a studio, I'm recording back to the main camera, but I can also record directly to camo. One of the things that I do like to pick up is, somewhere around here, I've got these little lav mics. These are very, very inexpensive little lav mics that you can use, you can connect them directly into your phone. It has about a 25 foot cord on it. So that gives you really good audio. So you can bring audio to, to your phone directly through that lav mic. I can also go into some presets. There's a lot of fun presets here. So some of them, you know, varying degrees of professionalism. So we'll say that. So for example, I could go into mono. So I could say, welcome to the old timey show. This is the old timey show where we're gonna talk about old technology like that iPod, first gen iPod. And then I could go in here and I could say things like, don't make me mad, you wouldn't like me when I'm mad. Ah, this is one of my favorite presets. This is always a good one for the classroom teaching. Uh, do not use this during a job interview. It might not, might not be the most, uh, it'll be what we call a CLM which stands for Career Limiting Move. Don't, don't do that. Then we also have a very useful thing here called overlays. Overlays are something I really like because what I can do is, is here on the video, to make it even more professional, I can click on the video here and you can see that it puts an overlay onto my video. That's a pretty handy thing. So if I scroll down, I can even go into collections. So I'll go into collections and I have a learning and technology with Frank collection. So I can put the YouTube banner. So if I'm in a web meeting with a group and I want to promote my channel, which I always want to do, I can, in fact, if you like this channel, hit the like button right now to help the old algorithm. And uh, so I can promote my channel. I can promote my business. And there are a lot of really good templates in here. So there's a lot of ones that you can then modify. Like for example, if I go in here, I can right click, I can copy and duplicate and modify it. And then what I'm able to do is I'll give it a name. I'll just call it Frank. And then what I can do is change all of the elements here to put my picture there, whatever I want, my name, my Twitter account, whatever the case may be. And if I don't want the overlay on there, you just click it again. You can see it's got a frame just makes it disappear. But that's not all. There's a lot more that we can do. Make it disappear. There's a lot more that we can do. That's just one side of my control panel here. Now, if I go to the other side here, you'll see that I can do image enhancements. One feature that I really like is a spotlight feature. So if I'm in a team meeting, I can click on spotlight and see it puts a little glow around me, just a little bit of a glow, and I can intensify that glow. So I'm, you know, Ooh, almost like, a, well, that's a little bit too intense, but I can come back here. I can also take the spotlight off, but that's a great way to, you know, create attention. I can also go into the filters. One of my absolute favorite filters is this film print. 
Look what it does to my background and everything. Look what it does. When I click film print, it actually puts a really nice LUT on there. So it does a, a light balancing on there. I think it does a really nice job. Changes the, the way that my silver polar bear looks quite a bit. It uh, changes my skin tone. Oh, it's LUTs or LUTs. I'm not going to go through all those. But you can see that you can even bring in your own one. You can import different LUTs in there. There's a gallery of filters in there. And I'm just going to emphasize again that the video you're seeing is the screen recording software, not Camel. If I'm in a Teams meeting, it's very smooth. If I'm in a Zoom meeting, it's very smooth. So I'm going to go in here. I'm actually going to keep my film print on there because I like it so much. AR is a lot of fun as well. So underneath AR, I could do things like I could mute the background. So you can go in there and the background gets muted down a little bit. I could go into things like put on a emoji face. So now I'll have an emoji face. Always smiling here on the channel. See if it picks up the, the you know, I, I'm not, again, don't use that one in a job interview. I don't know, it's, I guess my, my face is kind of, there we go, basic portrait in here. So you get a lot of different AR type of um, backgrounds and enhancements you can do, all sorts of really neat things in there. Um, actually, I'll go up to the top here very briefly. Again, I should have pointed this out earlier. If I go in here, you can see that I can um, really get a nice faded background. To do this in the real world would require a very expensive lens with a low f-stop. So you can see the objects behind me, but they're they're just nice boku, boka, boku. Uh, that's photographers will know what I'm talking about. If I don't want my background to be seen at all, I can blur it out completely. And I can even get a green screen. This is a very neat feature because I get the chroma key. And then what I can do is I can set a custom background so in my case, I'll just do a setting a custom background. I'll go ahead and choose from my photo library. So I, I go on a lot of hikes here. So I'll choose something from my photo library here. So let's go into backgrounds. And I'll put uh, one of the hikes that I went on. So West Coast Trail on Vancouver Island there. And you can see all of a sudden I'm in the West Coast Trail. It takes a few seconds, it'll pop in. And so now you can see that it's imported that and now that becomes part of it. It's a chroma key. Uh, my hair is white, so therefore you can see a little bit of ghosting there. That's really the film LUT that's doing that as well. So if I actually go ahead and take out the film LUT, you'll see it's a, a little bit better in terms of the, the chroma key there. And you know, results will vary depending on your background. I have a pretty busy background here, so I'll go ahead and I will take the to a regular screen and I will, again, I really do like that film LUT, so I'm gonna put that back on film print. Okay, so you can see here, I can really get into the exposure if I want to really dial in exactly how it's going to look. I can, you know, all sorts of things around flash level, brightness, hue, and saturation. So you can really control exactly what your lighting's gonna look like in there. And this is really the power of Camo 2, is that it gives you a lot more control over what you're seeing. Now, if I was to go into a Teams meeting, um, what's going to happen is it would be a much better experience and like you can see some lag in the video here This is because of the screen recording software It's not that way in a teams meeting or a zoom meeting. That's a little bit more difficult to demonstrate Recording the screen while I'm recording the screen while I'm recording the screen Causes my system to be a little bit a uh, little bit of dismay to my system, but it this is a very smooth, high quality experience that you're going to see that'll be projected in your meetings. So you can go and check it out. I'll put a link down below for, for Camo as well, as well as some of the other little things that I've shown you. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.